Hey guys, Chris Murphy here. Welcome to the part four of how to get ICS onto your Android device. All right, so now after you set your, um, after you charged up your Galaxy Tab uh, to about sixty percent, plugged it into USB mode uh, in the previous video. Now just plug your uh, Android your Galaxy Tab back into it, and you should see two remove this like this come up G and H. Now try to find the one that says, uh, try to find the one that is. Um, your roots because there are two. This one is your external SD card, which would be this one for me, and this one be my internal SD card. So find your internal SD card and drag from your downloads. Um, the one that says overcome seven series v four point one point zero underscore wipe. So just drag that in. All right. So now that we've got overcome seven series uh, v four point one point zero in, just disconnect um, your Galaxy Tab. We can just click here to disconnect both at the same time and plug it out. Next, get your Galaxy Tab back into download mode. Um, once again, just turn off your Galaxy Tab as we did previously. And once it's turned off, to turn it back on, press and hold the power button and the volume down button. Now, while that is happening, you, you guys might just want to fire up Odin again because we're going to be using that all over again. Alright, so get it into download mode. I won't flash the photo this time because I did it the previous time and the time before that, so. You guys should know how to do it by now. Alright, so download mode. Once again, you see the green, uh, the yellow box over there. Com, blah, blah, blah. Same thing. Now, this time, just click on PDA over here. And this time, click on Overcome Kernel V4.00.tl. Last time, we did the GB stock save. Now, this time, just go with Overcome Kernel V4.00.tl. Alright, so now that you got this, it's going to be a really, really quick finish. Um, check make sure everything is fine and just click start. Make sure you partition is not checked this time and just hit start. So let it do its thing. Alright, and you should see pass over here. It should be quite fast. Alright, now on the other side, your Galaxy Tab should be uh, restarting. And this time, once restarting, you'll hear like voice coming out of the Galaxy Tab telling you what's happening. Um, What's happening to the Galaxy Tab stuff like converting, blah 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 to blah blah blah. Sounds really really cool and sounds really really nice. So just let it do its uh, let it do its thing. It might take a few minutes. It might even take like what up to ten minutes or something. Yeah, I don't know if I heard it. So that yeah that. So let it do its thing. It take about maybe what ten minutes, five minutes around there. Uh, could be faster than that. Do not touch it. If not, you will get a really really screwed up system. Uh, at this point, I just explained to you what's happening. I think what's happening is basically it's converting your file system to something uh, to MTD if I'm not wrong, which is a file system that ICS can be installed on. All right, so let's just wait for and I'll be right back. All right, so once um, your Galaxy Tab finished, which you should have done by now, um, it'll be back into its normal mode, uh, looking happy like nothing happened, but actually a lot of things happened inside. All right, so now we're ready to flash the proper ROMs onto it. Um, this time we're flashing the Overcome ROM, and so um, let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome. Okay, welcome to the Galaxy Tab. Well, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, so once you guys are the get uh, in your Galaxy Tab, once you have unplugged it from the computer, all you have to do now is just power it off again. And this time to power it on, press and hold the power button at the same time as the volume up button. So press and hold the power button and the volume up button at the same time. Once the Galaxy Tab logo comes on, you can just release both. Um, yeah. Alright, so wait for a bit and you guys will get into the um, Overcome CWM Recovery menu. Now, to, uh, to control this menu, basically you just use the up and down, uh, the volume up and down buttons to go um, up and, and or down, right? And the power button to select. Alright, so now all you guys can do is just go to Install menu, select it, and click Choose Zip from Internal SD Card. And now you guys should see Overcome. 7 series v1.4.0 dot wipe dot zip click on that it should say confirm installation this can be undone and click yes install overcome 7 series 4.1.0 dot zip now you should see this happening at the bottom and it will take a while to install over there so i'll be right back once this finishes installing all right guys so once you've guys finished um Installing this, you should see this message come up done. Please give the tab a few minutes for initial boot. Thank you for choosing the Overcome experience. Alright, so now just use the arrow keys to um, navigate down to the go back option. And go to the reboot, reboot menu, the first one, and just say reboot system. Right, and your yeah, the tab should shut off. 
and turn back on in a while. Now, as he said, give a few minutes for the initial installation because this will take um, quite some time for overcome the overcome ROM to work its magic and stuff. Now, be advised that the overcome ROM is not the end of the process. Obviously, this overcome ROM is just another system for Galaxy Tab to use. So, if you actually, if when you get into the overcome ROM and you actually like it, and you prefer not to go to ICS, you can actually just stay here and be happy with your overcome ROM. But of course, if you prefer to go to the Galaxy Tab ICS, then yeah, carry on. So wait for overcome for Galaxy Tab. There we go. The overcome experience, Android, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. You know what? Since it's gonna take a while, um I'll be right back once this is over. Alright hey guys, welcome back to the overcome ROM now. You see once it's done, it's like the normal Android screen, so just choose whatever. And once again spam the next button at the bottom because we're not really going to do anything with the overcome unless unless you have decided they're gonna use the overcome and not ICS and you just stay with it, then you would have set up that up properly. Other than that, the overcome looks rather normal except for the cool icon to the top. I'm not sure you can see it, it's just yeah, the cool icon to the top. Looks really nice, much nicer than the normal Android stuff. And but other than that, it's a normal Android-ish interface, a honeycomb-ish interface. Um, not really anything amazing about it. So all right, now if you guys want to con continue the ICS experience or get into ICS, go to settings once again. Go to um, wireless and network as usual. Go to USB settings. Uh, and click OK. And click mass storage. All right. So now, once you've got mass storage, just lock your device and let's go back to the computer. Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the computer. So once you guys are back in the computer, once again, open up your internal um, SD card, and you will. Uh, it's probably the one with OCOM Seven Series inside it already. Um, next, go over to your folder with all your files, and now you need to download additional file. It's called AOKP underscore P1 underscore build dash to the link for this will be there once again in the description below. So take this and drag it over to your um, internal SD card. Now uh, relax, you guys are actually reaching the end of this already. You guys are going to finish soon and get to your ICS really really quickly by the end of this part. So yay, just hang on there. Alright, so once we've got AOK AOKP inside, um, just once again, jack your device and we'll be heading right back to your Android. So see you guys there.